cardio fitness kickboxer, Flash Daddy. And apparently his specialty is in the hands. And Box Pan, aka Max Pan, who just threw the body jab right corner. And so this is a cardio kickboxer, another body jab with his head off center line, challenging a real boxer to a boxing match. So, you know, sometimes you get false confidence, right? Just hitting pads and maybe occasionally sparring. But Max Pan, there's no real professional boxers in Taiwan because it's not a big enough industry. But Max Pan is as close to a pro boxer as you can. So for those of you wondering, ooh, look at that. Head off center line. It's a little bit of a, um, he stepped out too. He angled out and a jab right to the chin. So look at that. Look at the cross with his head off center line. So this is what happens if you are not Tony Jeffries and you challenge an actual boxer. Tony Jeffries would be a really great match against Max Pan. So that was first round. Obviously, Box Pan, a.k.a. Max Pan, got the best out of Flash Daddy. Now, these are just highlights from Max Pan. If you guys want to, I hope you guys follow Box Pan and follow Fist of Faith, who put on this match. Flash Daddy, I believe, is from Hong Kong. It's a little Hong Kong versus Taiwan rivalry. Okay, second round. Let's see if Flash Daddy's going to adapt. Ooh, he has no... Look at that. He has no defense against a body jab, and he has no defense against a hook. Sorry, not a hook. A cross. A cross. So, look at that. It's so funny, too. He has the mistake of people who haven't sparred enough, which is he's headhunting, right? He doesn't know how to go to the body. So, look at that. Every time he headhunts, he also telegraphs. He telegraphs his power strikes, so Box Pan keeps catching him. And then just body strikes, he has no defense. So, look at that, man. So, he, he got him. He got Box Pan once with a jab. He's trying, he's trying to go to the body. He's trying to do an uppercut. But I think the uppercut's a little too telegraphed, right? Look at that. Mm. Lead hook followed by a right hand hook. So what we definitely see from this is Flash Daddy, aka Cardio Fitness Kickboxer, has a swinger's chance, right? Like he can swing and potentially knock out Box Pan. I hope Box Pan realizes that. So Box Pan still has to be careful. Let's see if he's going to swing for the fences. Box Pan's a lot lower. See, Box Pan's telegraphing. He's thinking of going to the body. See, just by how low he is. Now, I think Box Pan is probably taller than Flash Daddy, too. That's why he's bending his legs a little bit more than an, a usual boxer, right? But look at that. Yeah, great lead hook to the body. Man, this is a textbook lesson in how to defeat people by not focusing on headhunting, right? This is... A lot of times, you spar good boxers, they'll find weaknesses in you. And look at that. Um, Flash Daddy's trying to keep... He's almost stumbling into a Philly shell. He realizes, man, I got to protect my body, but he doesn't know how. So, round four. And make sure to go follow Fist of Faith, especially a lot of you say, Jerry, you never show the ring girl. So there you go. There were some ring girls. And this is Box Pants Corner telling him to breathe and stuff. So... Nice, another body jab. Oh, that overhand got Flash Daddy. Again, nice lead hook right there. That's why that um, Flash Daddy's right hand should be attached to his cheek or temple, man. Especially. Oh, look at that. You see, but the lead hook to the body sometimes makes Flash Daddy want to drop his right arm. Man, this is the issue. Like. You're seeing sometimes that the the standard boxing guard sometimes really won't work. There's levels to these things, right? So, got to drill your reaction time. And unfortunately, one of the only ways to drill your reaction time is technical sparring. Now, you know, sparring too hard is probably not good for you. But even people like Max Holloway and Sh or Sean Strickland who claim they don't spar... What they mean, I think, my interpretation is that they just don't spar hard. They're only technical sparring. Like, they're touching. They're touch sparring. But still reacting accordingly. So, Box Pan had a great cross to the body. So, now this is the fifth round. I really like this format. Kind of showing us the highlights. But also encouraging us to go to Fist of Faith. Right? Fist of Faith likes fight commentary breakdown. So, this is perfect. Hopefully, we can... 
funnel some traffic to both the people. Then if Flash Daddy ever creates a YouTube channel too, we will encourage him because obviously he put himself out there. He only has an Instagram. I asked Max if Flash Daddy has a YouTube. Look at that. Flash Daddy's very tired now. Oh, he at least had his right hand up that time. It absorbed the lead hook a little bit. It's clinched up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Don't become a punching bag. Or, yeah, um, maybe the ref should stop it. Hey, ref, break this up, man. Hey, ref, break this up. This is bad refing. This is a boxing match, man. Nice jab in between. Oh, another. Look at, ouch. See, Flash Daddy's trying to do some head movement, right? But the head movement's all wrong. You can see it. That's why Max keeps catching him. There's a way to do head movement. You basically, the wrong way is to not tuck your chin, right? Get off balance, not keep your eye on the opponent. So there's the correct way. Have your chin still tucked. Have your eye still on the opponent. Don't be off balance when you do head movement. So watch Max for that. He's definitely doing head movement correctly. Round six. I don't know how many rounds they agreed on. You guys can go to their channels to see the whole drama. Max Payne is sweating. Here we go. Again, you should be able to read that he's telegraphing. He's going to go to the body, man. But obviously, Flash Daddy has not practiced how to defend against body strikes. So, it's too obvious from a third-party view that Max Payne's telegraphing. He's going to the body. But, ooh, I think, you know, this is the thing about fitness, a.k.a. cardio kickboxing. He's, Flash Daddy's not tired from a heart perspective, his muscles might be tired, but heart-wise, he's not. Where's Max? Look at that. Max looks like his cardio is going, man. Wow. It's like if you can be a punching bag for long enough, the cardio kickboxer, the cardio boxer might be able to actually beat the boxer as long as he doesn't get knocked out. Just wait for the boxer to tire himself out. This is so funny. Just, oof, nice, nice. Box pan going to the body and the face with hooks. Look at that, oh, 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 look at that Flash Daddy trying head movement, not working again. Oh, Max Pan excellent did an elbow, man, I'm calling Max out on that, he excellent did an elbow to Flash Daddy. So, that it, or are there more? Dude, Box Pan definitely won this, man, there's no way, good show of respect despite a lot of smack talking between them, there's no way Box Pan lost this, man, Box Pan knows he... He won this. So, yep, Box Pan won. Good job, Box Pan. Good job, Flash Daddy. But come on, do some more technical sparring. You got to learn how to defend against body strikes, man. The body strikes completely destroyed Flash Daddy in this. Wow. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to press the like. Now, guys, just the PSA. Just because Flash Daddy got beat by Max Pan, please don't just go challenge him, right? There's levels to these things. Flash Daddy can probably still beat the average person on the street. So make sure. I just want to do that PSA because this channel's getting big and there will be some people that get the wrong idea after seeing a video like this. Watch my videos to motivate yourself to go train, go get better at whatever skill you want to go get better at. So make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed and make sure to go follow both Fist of Faith and Max Pan. Now, a little heart to heart, I'll tell you guys. So I will probably reduce the uploads, at least for this week. I get a feeling I'm gonna get a little burned out. And knowing what I learned from last year, you wanna proactively take a little break, right? So I'll still upload once in a while this week, but I'm gonna reduce the uploads. So just to let you guys know, I'll probably by next week resume the uploads or maybe in two weeks, but I will reduce the upload just a little bit just because I'm much more privy to my own mental health. With that being said, though, guys, I look forward to your comments. Contact me on whatever platform, and we'll have a lot more to come. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Whisper to me softly. Breathe words upon my skin. No one's near and listening. So please don't say goodbye, just hold me close and love me, press your lips to mine, mm -hmm. feel so right, feel so right, lying here beside you, 
I hear the echoes of your sighs. Promise me you'll stay with me and keep me warm tonight. Just hold me close and love me. Give my heart a smile. Mm -hmm. Feel so right. Your body feels so gentle. And my passion rises high. You're loving me so easy. Your wish is my command. Just hold me close and love me. Tell me it won't end. Mm -hmm. Feel so right. Feel so right. Feel so oh, right. All right. <laughs>